Welcome to the Top 10 channel! For today, we are counting down our picks for the Top 10 Weirdest Causes of Death. For this list, we're looking at unforgettable or strange ways that human beings are said to have met their ends. But please note that we do try to stick to the facts and be very accurate as possible as some details or incidents may be based on alleged reports or hearsay. But before we proceed on our list, do not forget to hit the red subscribe button and ring the notification bell to get updates of our new uploads every week. Alright, if you are ready for our list, just sit back and relax. At number 10, Death by Storm Jane In 2008, a 57-year-old Canadian man left his wallet at a gas station. Then, his wallet was stolen along with other items. He called the police to report the incident, then decided to check the nearby sewer drain and he was right. He tried to reach it once before the police arrived, but he was unsuccessful. The police cautioned him not to try it again, but the man came back after a few minutes, removed the gate, and tried to reach it again. When the police officer who was investigating the incident noticed the old man's truck had returned, he checked the drain and found the man stuck headfirst several feet below the street. Unable to remove the man, the police called the firefighters and they used a tow truck to pull the man out of the drain. The old man was rushed to the hospital but was pronounced dead after a short time later. This odd and sad death is a perfect example of tragic bad luck. At number 9, Death by Deodorant You might have heard one of your science teachers saying that aerosol deodorants can be dangerous when overused especially in confined spaces. Well. This next scenario will prove the theory too. In 1998, after being exposed to too many deodorant fumes, a 16-year-old boy in England passed away from a heart attack. On the day the boy died, the BBC claimed that more than 130 people had died after purposely inhaling deodorant since 1971. Although the boy didn't die from purposely inhaling aerosol, he had an obsessive compulsion on staying clean and smelling fresh, so he sprays his entire body with deodorant for more than two times a day. According to the boy's family, his spraying would sometimes go so bad that they could taste the fumes downstairs. However, never have they deemed that what he was doing was dangerous. The autopsy done on the boy revealed that he had ten times the lethal amount of propane and butane in his bloodstream. It turns out that the boy used his deodorant in confined spaces rather than in a well-ventilated area. At number 8, Death by Beard If you're a man, have you ever tried ditching the razor? How long were you able to survive without shaving? How long did your beard grow? Well, feel free to leave a comment below to let us know. In 2008, Sarwan Singh holds the Guinness World Record for having the longest beard. His beard is 2.36 meters from him. However, in 1927, Hand Langseth from Norway was reported to have a beard that grows up to 5.3 meters long. Today, his beard is on display in the Smithsonian Institution. Well, if you are waiting for us to reveal if their beard caused them to the trouble that led to their deaths, nope, this story has nothing to do with them. But, in the mid-1500s, a man from Austria named Hans Steininger had his beard grown to 1.4 meters long. To make sure that his beard would not trouble him in his daily life, he used to roll up his beard in a leather pouch. In 1957, a fire broke out in the Steininger's town, and on that day, in a panic, he forgot to roll up and keep his beard, so he tripped and had broken his neck in the process. At number 7, Death by Hungry Sheep Sheep are pretty tame creatures. Wherever you see them, you'll likely find them munching on some grass and just milling about. However, in 1999, a few people have discovered something, including a farmer's wife from England, Betty Stobbs. At the age of 67, Betty was able to find out that sheep can be very aggressive too, especially when they're very hungry. Betty was taking a nice dinner of hay to the flock of sheep using an ATV with a small trailer attached. When she arrived, the hungry herd charged towards her and jumped onto the ATV, knocking her off and into the quarry. The irony of this tragedy is that the fall didn't cause her death. In fact, she might have been severely injured, 
but she would have been alive if not for the ATV who had knocked off and crushed her. At number 6, Death by Lightning In some movies with ass-kicking female leads like Dead or Alive, you might have seen how a bra had been a very helpful tool in one of the fight scenes. Well, but for some women, this undergarment didn't help to remedy the situation. In 1999, London, England, two women friends were supposed to be walking in the Hyde Park when a bad thunderstorm came through. The two women had been seeking shelter under a large tree when a massive lightning bolt struck them both. Although the coroner mentioned that they would have died anyway, well, duh. Who would survive massive lightning? Storm of X-Men, maybe? Well, going back, according to the coroner, the women wore brassiers, with the underwear which acted as conductors that contributed to their sudden death too. Not to mention that it took people 15 hours to get close to the area where the incident happened. According to Dr. Paul Knappman, the coroner on duty, the women died due to misadventure. At number 5, Death by Video Game Yes, these days, video games have been more than just a pastime. To some, it is an addiction. In 2005, a young man from South Korea died after a long stint of playing the online version of the game StarCraft. The game was very popular back then in South Korea, and the players are well respected. The 28-year-old man was said to be playing the game for nearly 50 hours straight in an internet cafe in Daegu. In between his 50-hour stint, he was only taking short breaks to nap and use the restroom. When he collapsed in the middle of the game, he was rushed to the hospital but died shortly thereafter. Police have ruled out that his death was cardiac arrest due to severe exhaustion. At number 4, Death by Molasses More often than not, massive water floods cause mass devastations. But for a fourth spot, it is not water that killed 21 people and injured 150 more. But it is the Great Molasses Flood in Boston in January of 1919. A tank that measures 90 feet in diameter and 2.3 feet in circumference, which holds 2.3 million gallons of molasses, ruptured and flooded the streets. The flood was an estimated 25-foot wall of molasses rushing at 35 miles per hour. For sure, it did not only wash people away but took lives as well. Other than human casualties, there were also several animals who died from either the flood or from the debris that flown over 200 feet away. At number 3, Death by Doggy Style You could never imagine the number of people who have been dying to try their sexual fantasies regardless of how ridiculously stupid it may seem. For example, this unnamed Irish mother of three who has always wanted to participate in her longtime bestiality fantasy or in simpler terms, to have sex with animals. After her arrangement from an unknown contact she met over the internet, the woman agreed to engage in her contact's German Shepherd. And guess what? Well, she died in the process. Although her official cause of death was unknown, there were speculations that she died to anaphylactic shock after she was exposed to the dog semen. We're just speechless. Moving on to number 2, Death by Nuptial Photoshoot They say weddings are for the bride. Everything the bride wants, the bride gets including a photo shoot in her wedding dress. Just like Canadian Maria Pantisopoulos, who wanted to have followed traditions common among newlyweds, which are to take more photos of the bride wearing her wedding dress in the trash the dress tradition. She found the perfect spot for the shoot and started shooting. Unfortunately, Maria's dress soaked up too much water and she was unable to climb out of the river. The cameraman and his assistant did their best to lift her out of the river but she was swept under the surface, causing her to drown. After two hours, she was found dead. Who would have thought that a major part of the wedding bliss turned out to be the worst tragedy? The lesson? Stay on dry lens when doing a photo shoot in your wedding gown. It's much safer to do that. Finally, at number 1, Death by Decapitated Snake Bite Most chefs, when cooking, does not have to worry about the animals they're using as food to, you know, fight back. Well, this was not the case for China's chef, Peng Fun, who was preparing a rare delicacy which is an Indo-Chinese spitting cobra. When he decapitated the snake and at the moment of throwing out the head, 
The snake bit him and infect him with its quick-acting venom. Reptiles are known to have the ability to manipulate their body parts for up to an hour after being separated from them. Chef Pung died because he wasn't able to receive an anti-venom at the hospital. Who would have thought that a decapitated head of a snake is still as deadly as it was attached to the rest of the parts? So, do you agree on our list today? Do you know other weird causes of death that should have made our list? Let us know by leaving your comments below. Alright, that is it for today. If you like our video today, please hit like and share this with your friends. Do not also forget to hit subscribe and hit the notification bell to get updates of newly uploaded informative videos from our channel. What top 10s would you like to see next? Let us know by leaving your comments below. Thank you for watching. See you next time.